Hey guys, Gabe here, and I'm bringing you, I can't even remember what number it is, but an online battle on Napoleon Turtle War. So, I'm playing as Russia, the map is Austerlitz, and my opponent, Jon Snow, uh, he's, just, he's a friend of mine from the 126th on Mad to Play Warband Napoleon Wars, uh, he is playing as the Ottomans. <clears throat> now, we, we, we were just messing around, we agreed to see this battle, um, the day before I, we played and I was on the hill, so I said, okay, this time we'll, we'll do it again, except you can start on the hill. Um, there, were, there was a 2v2 last time, uh, this time it's just 1v1, so anyway, he's on the hill. And something interesting happened, so, but you probably saw it in the nice little intro that I made, but uh, yeah, you, you, you'll see it again in a minute. So I'll just go through my army. Um, I Russia tends to play more to quantity over quality, and so what I did was I tried to get a middle ground by um, getting a number of elite troops uh, mixed within my very cheap infantry. So I have two Ulans, uh, Lancer Cavalry on each flank. Uh, one, I got the Moscow Musketeers, it's an elite regiment, I think they're DLC. Got one, two, three, four. Let's pause that. That uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five musketeers, um, four lifeguard, and one Semenovsky lifeguard. I've got two uh, Ye Russian Jaegers and one 17th Jaeger regiment. So that's an elite two. Just got general staff. The rules were no artillery, no upgrades. Max 4 cav, ma max 3 skirmishes. Um, <clears throat> so, John as the Ottomans... I'll click play. Uh, John as the Ottomans has... Uh, as you can see, he formed a new box. He's boxed himself in. Anyway, uh, he has a general's bodyguard. It's the same as general staff. He's got... Uh, three Siltar guard. They, these are heavy cavalry. Uh, one... I can't even pronounce that. Um, Balik Janus Three Musketeers at the back. Uh, they're quite basic uh, musketeers, I believe. If that's wrong, feel free to correct me. I, I don't. I never. Pretty much never plays the Ottomans because they're so unconventional compared. Well, that's the wrong word, but you get what I mean. That they're not like. Um, they they don't have the similar sort of units that the other units have. So he's got one, two. three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Nizam e Kedit infantry, <clears throat> and he spots himself in with them. So I went for the obvious tactic of splitting. Split my forces in two. Equal amount of uh, elite infantry, pretty much on each uh, flank. Cavalry with each flank. With general here and the Jaegers in the middle. Jaegers have longer range. I can shoot up the hill whilst he's advanced slowly. Uh, this is this is pretty much how you take out a new box. You just surround them. Quite simple. Quite simple. I don't see why people have difficulties with new boxes. Even on this hill, this mother of all hills, the hill of hills, the king, the emperor of all hills on Napoleon Total War. Even on that, it's quite easy to take out. I did take more casualties than I should have because we were just messing around. Um, you know, John did some crazy things later in the battle that I'll show you. But um, this is how you take out, uh, you know, a noob box. I, don't, I won't tell you if I win or not. That's for you to find out. But uh, some crazy stuff happens. So as you see, I'm advancing my Jaeger's bottom of the hill. I'm getting, I'm taking my time because he's in a box, and if he moves, then that's even better for me. So I'm just casually taking my time, getting into position. I'm not going to run or anything. Um, get into a general position at the bottom of the hill, surrounding it, and slowly move up. Um, so yeah, I've got my lancers on each flank, as you can see. Uh, the reason they're there is so that he can't get round there and stop me from uh, moving uh, because my lances would cause a problem. In addition, because they're fast, I can quickly move down if I need help. However, you may be wondering why I leave my Jaegers unprotected. Um, you, you may see me do this quite often in my land. Well, not this is a land battle. In my flat battles, but even better on the hill because it's attracting him to come down the hill to my Jaegers. As soon as he does that, he's guaranteeing that he is breaking his formation to attack me and I can just come up the hill uh, from both sides and take him. In addition, if he sends all his forces down there, then I can take the hill off him. So, Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to leave my Jaegers unprotected. Um, to me, the most important part of an army is just the line infantry. 
Um, you know, the line infantry and elite infantry are the bulk of my army. They, they are the bulk of most armies, but um, I, my Jaegers or, or my skirmishers slash light infantry and my cavalry, very important in an army. That's why I bring them. <clears throat> but they are simply there as a skirmishing unit, if you know what I mean. So the skirmishers, oh, funny that, um, these guys, these are to initiate the battle in the skirmish phase. They also work with a double line screened and pin the enemy in position in the center. Uh, my cavalry, over here, they're used to just protect my flanks. And if I ever use them to attack, it will either be because they're quick, so I can just get around the back, quite obvious. But the mo the I mainly use cavalry. You'll probably see me doing this quite often in my other battles. Um, <clears throat> what I'll do... If I want to wrap around a unit, but I can't because they slightly outnumber me or they're kind of wrapping around me or something. So, for example, it sees musket is march marching here. So, if there's two units wrapping around here, I want to get that musket round this side. So, that unit can shoot there, I can shoot there. I can't just walk there without taking casualties. So, I charge my lancers here into, if there was a line here, yeah, into there. They would either be hit by the lancers and they would pretty much be finished off because lancers charge bonus... Um, which would allow me time to get round, or they'd form square, giving me time to move around. I can simply pull out, and whilst they're in square, get, they get shot to death. And if they leave square, I just charge back in. So yeah, cavalry is simply a means to my infantry to get what they need. Now, as you can see, we are slowly getting into position. Very cold. Um, John was telling me in the chat that um, his uh, units were all dying of frostbite. <clears throat> Particularly his general. He kept saying his general died of frostbite before. Uh, what, what, why is that unit facing the wrong way? I think they're about to turn. But yeah, before a particular event happened. As you can see, he's closed himself in even further. And he started moving his cavalry. Uh, just so we can close in a bit better. Anyway, uh, you can see the blue lines around whilst I'm holding the space of where I'm setting up my units. As you can see, I'm surrounding this hill now. Not the back, of course, but um, his weakest side is the back. And so I want more force there. I didn't see these hidden skirmishers here, so I suddenly uh, counter that by getting my guys to run. As you'll see in a minute, I, I'm currently busy sending my lancers up. Unfortunately, because they're in a forest, they move a lot slower. So I wasn't able to get there quick enough. But I do send my line of tree running, and that puts pressure on them. As you can see now. And that, that just that rush causes him to retreat. Um, it's fair, fair play on his part. I probably would have kept them there, seeing as skirmishers are simply a means of my infantry, but it's fair play on his part, seeing as he uh, boxed himself in. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm finally setting up here. These guys are a bit calmer, no action. Got my, I put my general on this side, because it, when he... I'm bringing my Jaegers forward, so one, I can skirmish with him and try and force his cavalry out, because I don't want them engaged in my fight when I surround them. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and two, they've got longer range, so the enemy can't shoot back. Um, there's also the fact that if the cavalry charges into my Jaegers, I don't want them hitting my general, so I move my general away. As you can see, my line of tree has come forward and is shooting up at the Jaegers. My lances have reached the Jaegers. When I say Jaegers, I just mean rifles. Um, Jaegers are the Prussian, Austrian, and Russian rifles. The French have Voltigeurs, the British have rifles, and the Ottomans have rifles. So. Yeah, they're all the same sort of unit. <clears throat> cough, cough. Sorry, got a very slight cold at the moment, not, not much one. See my Jaegers get into position. Don't know what their range is currently, but apparently they can't shoot yet. Uh, my life tree is moving up on both sides even more, getting a very close. Maybe my lance is over here. Oh, very nice shot there. But yeah. So I move my cavalry out of the forest so they can actually move around a bit quicker, putting them on the right flank. I'm also hoping that with all this space I might get a chance to charge into there where his weaker side is. Um, we'll see. We'll see. That's why I move them there. Actually, I'm yeah, moving my Jaegers even further forward. I believe they can fire from this position. A few bullets will most likely hit the mountain, but most of them should find their target. We'll see. Yep, they're firing now. Yeah, a few bullets hit the mountain, as you can see from the uh, smoke there, but a lot of them found their target. The enemy cannot fire back, as you can see.
And whilst he's doing that, I'm moving up even further with this left flank of mine. And my right flank is also moving. Shooting down a few of his um, units there. I didn't ask them to shoot. They're doing it automatically. They're already routing, so... So yeah, I'm still firing into his ranks with my Jaegers. He's still just taking casualties, doesn't know what to do, can't respond. If he does, he breaks his square. He started firing at me because my line infantry's got closer. They're about to get into position. <clears throat> just as they're getting into position, his cavalry charges down the hill at my Jaegers. That's perfect. He has less men in the square. That makes things very easy for me to engage. He charges my Jaegers absolutely fine. This allows me to really wrap these units inwards whilst his cavalry is distracted. I move my infantry on this side forward now. Here's my lifeguard foot preparing to engage. Marching forward slightly more. He charges at me, breaking his square completely. Melee fight here. Um, between my elite lifeguards and their uh, infantry. I send my lances over here to charge into the back of these units. They're charging me on this side as well. My Moscow Musketeers are about to receive a volley in melee. Oh, a melee volley. I just uh, rallied my men with my general. As you can see, the drummer just died. So, my lancers come in the back there and help out. I wrap these units round here so that I can shoot into the back of the guys in melee. My, life, my lifeguards there started routing. Uh, these Semenovsky uh, lifeguard are now about to be engaged in melee. I move these units up here to shoot into the back of this huge clump of melee fighting. I killed his general uh, in this fight. He outnumbers me um, somehow. Anyway, I, I prepared to form square here. I don't, I don't know if I do form it in time. Let's see. Let's see. See, they're shooting. My general died. I was using him in combat because uh, there was no one else left. I... Do not form square against that, I wasn't watching it, but that doesn't matter because uh, they're a bit, a bit tired, the guys attacking me. You see, I'm reforming, reforming all my lines to, uh, to engage. See, I wrapped around here, I'm really shooting into his flanks. These lifeguards are holding off against all these units. See my uh, guys here, these regiments started reforming. Started causing a mass rout on this side. I reform these guys over here so I can shoot a bit better. They route after causing a mass route over there because of their cavalry charging in. Uh, actually, I'm greatly outnumbered, so it really comes down to my Russian, my Russian elite infantry kind of dominating. I'm just causing tons of mass routes here because I've got lots of elite infantry. I send my lancers down to uh, ensure the enemy stays routing. So I shatter them instead of break them. The ones that are flashing are broken, whereas the ones that the bandages disappear, so they're shattered. If they're breaking, then they can come back. If they're shattered, they can't. See, he's got some rifles who just came back, and they vanished. So I'm moving over here. I formed a square against his charging cavalry. And he tries to charge the square. I try and get out as fast as I can, but I'm mainly uh, working on these guys, so we're going to shoot into that big mess, as you can see.
And that causes a mass route there. These units come, of mine have come back from routing. And I start to reform to uh, take out that cavalry down there. Whilst bringing these guys up. See, my lancers are still making sure these guys uh, shatter and say I just break. These rifles are still a pain. Uh, well, they're not really a pain. They haven't shot at me. They're just trying to get up to me. Um, so I'll charge them in melee as soon as they get close. See, I'm reforming to take on this cavalry that's very slowly advancing up the hill to me. They're exhausted and they're running up this huge hill. The emperor of all hills. The hill of hills. So good luck. Have fun. <laughs> I form square. Start shooting down at them. And they start routing. And then finally, I charge these musketeers into melee with these rifles. We'll see who wins this fight. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal fighting on the Russian part. So yeah, that breaks that unit, and I win the game. With more casualties than I should have had, but, you know, me and John were just messing around. Light battle, that's why there's a lack of organisation. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the nice intro I gave. In case you're wondering about the stats, I deployed 2,264, he deployed 2,112. He lost 1,569, I lost 1,449. I killed 1,529. And he killed 1,390. Okay. So, unit statistics. Let's not bother going through that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed the intro. It didn't. It was interesting. I don't know. I've got bored and decided I wanted to make that on this Austerlitz map because it's the the hill of hills with a nice little nuke box on top. It's you know quite. This is quite a light video. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.